Greetings from Alan AI. As a website user, you deal with forms every day. Whether you need to search for airline tickets, find an apartment, or just subscribe to updates on your favorite website, you will need to input your data in a web form. With the Alan platform, you can easily turn your web form into a voice form. In this tutorial, we will see how it works in a React app. Let's assume we want to build a simple form that allows us to find a hotel. In our form, we will have different types of controls and inputs that we will be able to fill with voice. We will start with creating a simple React app and install several dependencies that we will need React Rooted DOM and React Hook Form. Let's open the index.js file where our app component will go. Here we will have two step components wrapped in a router. And we need to add import statements. Our first step will be pretty simple. Here we will have only one button, start now. We will use the React hook form here, so let's copy an example from the Get Started page in the docs. Let's remove all things that we won't need for this tutorial. When our button is clicked, we will pass to the next step. So let us add with router to connect our component with router and update the onSubmit function we have. Switching to the second component. Here we will again add a form with just one input for now, name it location and add a label. This field will be required. If left empty, we will get an error. Finally, we will update styles for our app and run it. The app is ready and working. Next, we need to add a voice assistant. We'll go to studio.alan.app and sign in. Then create a voice assistant and name it React Forms. Next, we will go to Integrations, scroll down and select React. As Alan Studio prompts, we need to perform three steps to add a voice assistant button to our app. First, we will install the Alan Web SDK package. Next, we need to add the Voice Assistant button. Let it be a separate component. Adding the necessary input statements here. And the button itself. First, we will define the React part for our button. And then copy and paste the code for the Alan button from Alan Studio. And of course, we will add the Alan container to our index.js file. Let's check it in the app. Hello world. Hi there. We are now ready to build a voice form in our app. The first thing to do. Let's allow our users to open the form with voice. In our voice script, we will add a new intent. When the user says start now, Alan will play. Let's start the journey. And send a command to open the form in the app. Here in the pplay function, we will have a JSON object for our command named open form. We need to handle this command in the app. First, we will wrap Alan container using the with router function. And next, we will update our on command handler. If we receive the open form command, we will pass to step 2. Let's check it in the app. Start now. Let us start the journey. Moving on to our form. In the voice script, let's add a new intent. I am going to some location. 
To capture the location name, we will use the location predefined slot and then pass this value in our command. Before we start filling in inputs with voice, we need to update our app a bit. To allow Alan container to access the form content, we will use a custom hook provided by the React hook form library. Use form context. In index.js, we will import the form provider. Define methods and wrap our app with this form provider. In our form component, we will use the context instead of form. Now we can switch to our Allen container, import form context, define methods, and again get to our on command handler. Here we will add another condition. When we receive the get location command, we will set the value for the location input to the value we have captured with the location slot in our voice script. I'm going to Santa Fe. Your destination is Santa Fe. Let's see how it works with other types of controls. In our hotel form, we need two date pickers. One to get the check-in time and the other one to get the checkout time. So let's install two more tools, date picker and the moment library. We will need it to set the time with voice. Let's switch to step two and import the dependencies we have just installed. We will start with the check-in date picker. For our date picker, we will use the controller component provided by the React hook library. We will name our field from date and set the minimum value to today. Updating our styles to make it look nice. And checking it in the app. We can now select the check-in time manually. Let's allow setting it with a voice. Getting back to the voice script and adding one more intent. I will check in on a specific date. To get the date value, we will add the date predefined slot here. The date slot we have added has two fields. The moment field contains the date object from the moment.js library. The value field contains a regular date value. In our intent, we will send the content of the moment field in the command and play the content of the value field with voice. In our Alan container, we will first import moment and get to the on command handler. On receiving the set from date command, we will convert the obtained value to the necessary format using the moment library and then turn it to the date object. Once this is done, we will again use the setValue function to set the value for our date picker. Going to the app to check it, I will check in on October 15th. Your check-in time is October 15th. And we can now do the same for the checkout time. Next, go select. We will assume that our users should be able to select the apartment type with voice. So first, we will add the select control to our app and define some values for it. In the voice script, we will add a new intent with a regular slot that will allow choosing from the same set of apartment types that we have in the app. Again, the selected type will be sent to the app in the command object. In the app, we will add a new condition. If the set type command is received, we will select the value we have got from the voice script. The checkbox type of control works pretty much the same. We need to add a checkbox to the app, then an intent to the voice script, and handle this intent in our own command handler. This is it for controls. Let's see how all of them work together. I am going to Chicago. Your destination is Chicago. I will check in on June 3rd. 
Your check-in time is June 3rd. I will check out on July 10th. Your check-out time is July 10th. Let it be a bungalow. I will look for a bungalow for you. I need free cancellation. Got it. To polish our voice form, we need to do a few more things. First, we will add a possibility to submit data with voice. On the voice script side, we will have an intent. Start searching that will send the submit command to the app. Let us define the logic for the submit handler similar to the one we have in our form. If the submit action is successful, we will first display all entered data in an alert. Then we will play the message. If there are errors in the form, for example, the required fields are not filled in, we will ask the user to check the entered data. And we need to handle the submit command in the on command handler. The next improvement, those intents that belong to the form must be active only when this form is open. If the user is at the initial page, they should not be matched. So let's allow our voice assistant to understand what page is currently open in the app. To tie our intents to a specific page, we will leverage React's use location and Alan's visual state functionality. We will add another use effect hook to understand the current location in the app. When the location object is updated, we will update the visual state object with the path to the current page and send this information to the voice script. To check how it works, we will add the own visual state callback function to our voice script. Now, when we navigate between pages, we can see the current path name in Alan Studio logs. We can now use the visual state as a filter for our intents. We will pass this filter to all intents that should only be invoked at the form step. And check it in the app. I am going to London. I can't answer this. I'm going to Barcelona. Your destination is Barcelona. And the final update, let our voice assistant greet the user and prompt that our form can be filled in with voice. In Alan component, we will add the on button state handler. When the button is online, meaning a connection to our voice project is established, the Alan button will be activated automatically and we will hear a message from the voice assistant. The welcome message variable here will help us make sure that the greeting is played only once during the dialogue session with the user. We have put it all together, now let's see how it works. Hello, I am your travel virtual assistant. To start searching, hit the button below or say start now. Start now. Let us start the journey. I am going to Melbourne. Your destination is Melbourne. I will check in on November 23rd. Your check-in time is November 23rd. I will check out on January 2nd, 2023. Your check-out time is January 2nd, 2023. Let it be a villa. I will look for a villa for you. I need free cancellation. Got it. Start searching. I will find the best hotel for you in a few seconds. Now let's remove some information from the required fields and try again. Start searching. Please check the data you have provided. With Alan AI, you can add an intelligent voice interface to every web form you have in your app or website. Subscribe to our channel for more videos and comment on any use case you would like to see.